Alright, uh, this was one of the bigger hands of the night. Uh, this is a 1 2 no limit game. And I was dealt king queen under the gun plus one. Uh, under the gun folds comes to me. Uh, I just limp in for $2. And goes to the cutoff. Uh, he makes a 12, which actually is a pretty big raise in this game. Usually it goes to 6 $7 around that range. Uh, usually sometimes 5 uh, the average bet is around six dollars. Uh, it makes it twelve. So I'm figuring, huh, this guy might be uh, uh, pretty, pretty pretty hams. A lot of these guys do play really tight. They're locals, so uh, we don't know what what it could be doing. Um, then it goes all the way around. Um, everyone else folds. Comes to me. I make the call with twelve dollars, and I'm about three hundred behind. Uh, he's about two hundred or so. So I cover him in chips. Uh, the flop comes out. King Queen ten. I flopped two pair with two clubs, so I figured uh, let him just bet out to see where he's at. Because um, since you know they're playing really tight, he could be playing with aces, kings, queens, you know, jacks, you know, any of the premium hands. So I check to him. He bets out forty dollars, and I'm like, okay, forty bucks. Uh, I could be completely drawing dead right at this point. I'm not sure where I'm at, but I just make a call, which is a big call actually for forty bucks. Because the pot size was about um, about 25 or so. Uh, so you really overbetted it, uh, which surprised me. Um, then the turn card came, which was a queen, queen of spades. Uh, gives me the full house. So I'm looking pretty good here. So I'm still, at this point, um, I can be up against aces or kings. Uh, maybe ace jack. Uh, that, you know, I'm pretty much crushing. But just pretty much I'm just worried about kings at this point. So I check it to him. And he checks back, so which okay tells me at this point okay he's not as strong as I thought he was. Um, then the river comes out a uh, nine of clubs, uh, which four to a straight. Uh, the flush comes uh, at this point. You know I'm looking pretty good right here. I do a filler just to see where he's at. Um, I bet seventy five. He sort of thinks about it for a little bit, and then he makes a call. Um, then he shows me. Um, a6 I just turn over my king queen and I take down the pot and he says to me um, like he says something stupid to me he's like why did you check the turn or some, some something stupid like that I don't know but uh, at that point I was like uh, I don't know I'll just sing where you're at I, I thought you might have pocket kings and he's like uh, and he just like laughed it off he's like oh okay whatever stupid kid I was like all right <laughs> so let's move on with that all right so we're dealt 10 of diamonds five of diamonds in a small blind, uh, then it goes all the way to the guy that made that comment earlier that I took down uh, one of the bigger pots. Uh, he made a 12 to go. Uh, everyone folds, goes to the button. The button makes a call for 12, and I decided that I'm going to make this call just to maybe um, give another crack at it to, um, I don't know, because I, I just have a bad, um, I sort of want to retaliate from what he said to me, calling me a you know stupid kid or whatever, you know. So I made the call. Uh, the flop comes out. Uh, four, three, ten, two diamonds. I flop the top pair with uh, the flush draw, which this is pretty much flopping the world. I make a check. Um, the bad guy he uh, puts out thirty dollars. Uh, pretty much makes it known that he probably has top pair or higher pair or maybe a flush draw. Something big, uh, if he's leading out like that. The button folds, comes to me, 
Um, I just make a I just make a call at this point. Um, just to see what he's gonna do on the turn. Uh, the turn comes out of five clubs, which puts me on two pairs. And I feel like at this point I'm ahead. Um, I'm I'm putting on an over pair at this point. See where he's at. Um, then he bets out seventy five. And I pretty much rejam him all in. He instant calls. And the turn comes out of five. He pretty much opens up aces. And then I take it down with a full house. So I pretty much get lucky on the river. Actually, not lucky on the river, but I pretty much jam it in his ass up in the river. So so then he, he gets all upset. He starts taking some other shit. And I'm like, yo, dude, like, this is poker. You know, you never had bad beats before, you know. It's like, you never played this game before? Something like that. So he starts to getting heated up. And at this point, I'm just like calm. I'm just calm and just telling him this stuff. Say, hey, you know, this is poker, you know. Bad beats happen, things like that. And he's just like, you know, still starting shit. So I was like, oh, whatever. At this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just done with it. I just move on with it. All right, so this hand had king, nine of diamonds. Uh, I'm in the cutoff. Um, it folds all the way to the hijack, the guy to my right. Uh, he makes it six to go. Um... I make the call and we see a flop flop comes out king nine five he makes it 20 uh, I reach I re raise him to 50 uh, he calls turn comes to six he checks then I figure at this point uh, I'm not sure what he could be holding maybe he's holding uh, king up one pair with a draw maybe at this point, I, I'm really not sure because he's been playing pretty conservative. So, I was I was putting on him with a king with uh, maybe a high kicker like a king jack or ace king or something like that. So I figured I'll check here um, to see what he's gonna do in the river. Um, the river comes out at nine. Do he bets out seventy five? At this point, I reach him all in. He thinks about it for about uh, two three minutes. Then he lays it down. Uh, then I show him king nine, then he tells me that he had king queen, so that was a good lay down by him. 